morning, Stamping Friends. How are you all doing today? I hope you're doing well. We are getting hot, hot, hot here in Arizona. So I hope it's warming up where you live so that you can take part in the fun spring activities and being outside and planting your flowers. And so anyway, it's just an exciting time of year. Today, I'm gonna to introduce to you my new In Color Club. I do these each year and I'm always excited to share the new colors with you. Um, now we can't order until May 1st and so I just need to know who all is interested in doing this because I wanna start ordering the product on day one. Sometimes those new items tend to go um, unorderable because everybody's trying to grab them. So if I can hear from you in the next few days, I'll have my order ready to go. So when May 1st hits and I can go ahead and get all that ordered, I will share with you the details and what you'll all get and the pricing as soon as I turn my camera around. And then also I'm gonna share a project with you today that uses all of our new in colors. So you're gonna see a good variety of the colors and kind of compare them to each other so you can see the differences. And it's just a fun card that showcases all of the colors. So let me turn my camera around and we will get started with the projects and the in color club that we'll be starting. Before I share my project with you today, I wanna to go over my 2024 in color club and first of all I want to show you the new in colors if you've been around Stampin' Up for a while you know that pretty pink is a color that we've had in the past and I'm so glad that we have this back it's just the perfect powder pink color so I'm so thankful that we have that so that's pretty in pink this one is called petunia pop isn't this really pretty it's unlike any other purple that we have it's got kind of a um, kind of a like a berry a lighter berry color we do have Berry Burst, which is darker, but this just seems a shade lighter. This is called Summer Splash. This is actually my favorite one. And if you've seen the background in my craft room, I have a whole wall this color. So I was so, so excited. It's actually a little bit like Bermuda Bay, just a little bit lighter than that. And so Summer Splash is gonna be one of my go-tos. This one is called Shy Shamrock, and this will be nice even for Christmas. It's a nice bright green. It reminds me of that clover one we used to have. And so um, this will be nice. And now you can see when they're next to each other that they are similar, but definitely different greens. And the last one we have is called Peach Pie, and that's a nice color as well. Something, again, that we don't have right now. We've had similar colors in the past, kind of like that cantaloupe that we had. So those are our new in, in colors. Now, as you know, every year I do an in color club, and the idea of this is that you will get all of the, or most of the products that are the new in colors, and I call it 2024, just so you don't get mixed up, but these colors are actually good from 2024 through 2025. So these will be around two years, and then they'll switch them out for some other new trendy colors. So what you're gonna get is one pack of one color a month, and this lasts for five months. So the first thing you're gonna get is a full pack of cardstock, and I know other people that do shares, they, some of them only give you parts of the cardstock, packages, but for being around for two years, I just really feel that you need to start with a full pack of cardstock. So you will be getting 24 sheets. You also get one ink pad in that color that's featured that month, one ink refill, one Stampin' Write marker. Now remember the markers are different than they used to be. This journaling end is a little bit larger than some of our past ones. And then this is a brush end. And these you can color on red rubber. So that's what the advantage to these markers are. Plus you can write on your envelope to match um, the color of your card. And then you also get blends and you'll get a light and a dark. So actually you'll be getting three pens. You will also get one full pack of resin dots. There's 120 dots in here and they are kind of a matte finish. And these are all of our in colors. You'll, you'll also get some of our designer series paper. You'll get eight sheets that is um, all of one color, remember, and we are going to be playing with the designer series paper today, so you will see that up close. I already told you about the um, resin dots. You'll also get glimmer paper, and that's just like our shimmery paper. I do have that here as well, and this is what that looks like. It's very pretty. You'll get all of the colors. Let me pull those out so you can see those really quick. So aren't these pretty? Oh, so nice. Oh my goodness. I foresee a lot of fun with these. And I am gonna slice them into six by six pieces because the shipping, to ship these, it costs almost as much as the whole pack does just to ship it because it's such a large 
envelope or box, whatever you put it in. So those will be cut down and packaged nicely. You will also get a bolt of the 3 8 inch ribbon. And I do have some of that right here and I've opened it and it's a nice cotton ribbon and I just want to show you how nice it ties these bows. Sometimes our bows, depending on the ribbon, they kind of get loose and they don't tie as nice as the others, but this one stays nice and tight and um, it's just really, really pretty. So you'll get a bolt of that. And then you'll also get a hand stamp card featuring the color that you received that month. Now, after completing the online card club, you'll get a bonus package of in-color shimmer gems, and those will be sent in with your final packet. All right, so the cost of this, if you want to pick it up at my house, it's $70. It's only $5 more than last year, and a few of these things have gone up in price, the cardstock and... Um, the blends and stuff so i figured it out and i'm able to keep it down to only five dollars more per month so for seventy dollars you can do porch pickup or if you want it shipped it's 78 dollars, and that eight dollars is just for the priority shipping so i hope you consider that that's a great way to get your product at a bargain and i will be happy to send these your way uh, please sign up by clicking on the link and or emailing me and just tell me that you would like to participate and we will chat about the different ways that you can pay. Once you sign up, I will chat with you about how you want to send payment. I take Zelle and Venmo. Those are the favored ways or we can do PayPal as well. You don't have to have a PayPal account and you can use um, your credit card on that. All right, so please email me if you're interested and my address is lauriehiling at gmail.com. All right, now let's get to today's project. We have done one similar to this years ago, and I love this because it showcases a lot of different designer series paper. So our card base is going to be basic white thick, and this is cut at eight and a half by five and a half, and then scored in half on the eight and a half side at four and a quarter. And then I also have a five and a half by four and a quarter piece of regular basic white cardstock, same size as the front. All right, then you can set that aside. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one of all of the designer series paper and I'm gonna try to use all different um, patterns. So, but for cutting them out, they can all be the same. I can cut them out more than one at a time. So these pieces of paper are cut at four and a half inches by one and a half. So we're just gonna put them at an angle. You don't have to worry about measuring. Just make them at a little bit of an angle and just start slicing. And this is a great way to use up little pieces of designer series paper that maybe you have left over. Make some angles larger than the other, like that. And then make some barely at an angle, like maybe just a little bit offset, like that. My favorite pattern is the floral one, actually. <laughs> I know I always say I'm not much of a floral girl, but I really do like this one. Maybe because it's more subtle, you know, it's kind of like that tone on top, tone on tone. Let's make this one a little bit deeper. All right, just like that. So we have lots of paper to play with. Now what we're gonna do is take um, my, my silicone mat and we'll do our basic white paper. And what we're gonna do is just start gluing these on. And I'm also gonna use my my Sweet Petunia glue dispenser that I've shown that I use all the time. I love it because it has such a fine tip. And if you don't have one of these, I really recommend that you get this. It works by just pulling this trigger and wait till you see how tiny the line is that comes out. Okay, so I think I'm gonna start with my favorite paper, which is Summer Splash. I'll start with my favorite print, which is the floral. And we are just going to start stacking these on our piece of white cardstock, see how fine that line is? And then always stick it back in this holder because there's a little rubber piece underneath here. Let me see if I can show that to you. And that's what puts a stop to that glue so that it doesn't clog. It will stay open and you won't ever have to use a needle with it. All right, so for that first one on the bottom, we are just going to um, put this on the bottom here. I'll leave a little bit of a white space, but that will be cut off. Now, you have to kind of keep track of which side has the shorter end. So the next one, oh, I should have put these in an order that I liked. We will use, let's use the stripe one. And we're gonna alternate the patterns to showcase all the patterns and all the colors with this card. So you want to always use the angled side together. And we're gonna make a small border there, maybe like an eighth of an inch, like that. And we're just gonna work our way up. 
All right, let's see. Now we need, that's floral again. Let's do, let's do the pink one. And we need to change that angle. See the small end is here, so we're gonna put the small end on the right side now. And just keep going all the way up. These colors really work well together. Whoopsie, and make sure the whole thing is covered up. But we, like I said, we are gonna slice it off. It's gonna be smaller than this, so it's okay that it didn't meet, but it came pretty close. All right, let's use the peach one then, and let's use the floral one again. So the smaller end is over here, so this time the smaller end is gonna be on that side. We haven't used the dot print yet. All right, so let's use, I think this one we haven't done yet. So we need the smaller end on that, the right side this time. It's really a fast card and it's, I'm gonna have leftover pieces as well. So you could actually make two while you're at it since they're all cut anyway, like that. Oh, our angle's getting even <laughs> larger, but that's all right. We'll make it work out in the end. Okay, let's see, one, two, three. So we used all the colors. Now we can go in, ahead and repeat. So let's do the other green one and we'll do stripe this time. And I'll show you how we're gonna make this angle work out in the end. It's really getting, whoops, that one's not quite the same. There we go. And actually, let me pull it to the left a little bit. All right, then we're gonna do purple and we will use the floral side again. Oops, am I using too many florals? I really do like that. I guess it doesn't matter, right? So there's, that's how we're gonna make it work out right there. It's to the end. All right, so we had three pieces left. So like I said, if you did a couple cuts of these, you'd have enough for the second one, two or three maybe. All right, the next thing I'm gonna use is the deckled rectangle and I'm gonna use the largest die and I'm just gonna cut this because it'll be easier than I don't have to trim all these off individually. So hold tight, let me go die cut that and I will be right back. All right, so this is what it looks like when it comes out. Like I said, it's the largest deckled rectangle. And we will bring in our card base and just fold that on the score line. Then we're gonna grab our dimensionals and we're just gonna put these on the back. I always like to pop things up because you just get a little more dimension when you do that. You can purchase, these are the larger dimensionals. We also have small ones and we also have black ones. So whichever one you like. I actually use all three of them. I use Black when I'm using dark cardstock. I use large ones mostly, and then the small ones for those teeny tiny spaces. All right, now we're just gonna center this on our card front. Like that. Now we need some sort of sentiment. So what I did was I grabbed, wanted to say dies, and I'm so thankful these are carrying over. And I'm gonna grab this again. I should probably rinse this off. I've had the same markings on here, but that does come off. All right, so I chose my favorite color, which is Summer Splash. And then I um, die cut, that's kind of the outside border. And then the inside says Happy Birthday. And I really like this tweezer. It is so, um, it, holds a, it holds really tight. It's got a tight grip. Now, normally I use, um, those adhesive sheets, but I think I, I ran out of that. I need to order some more of that. And that works really well for this because it turns all of these into stickers, but I can show you because of that fine tip on that glue bottle, it really is easy to add glue. So if you don't have any of the um, adhesive sheets, you can easily just add glue to this and you can kind of maneuver it until it sticks like that. Now, like I said, with that glue bottle, I that is the glue that came with it, but once it's empty, I'm gonna put my green glue in there because I like the, the um, adhesive glue a little bit better than this one. And just add little dabs of glue. You don't have to put solid glue on. And then I like to turn it, I don't know, because I'm left-handed and it's easier to maneuver like that. Okay, isn't that pretty? So I chose this, like I said, because it's my favorite, but you could do black, you could do crumb cake as the background, and I'm gonna add some little dimensionals now. And when I use this, I take my take your pick 
tool. This has a rubber end to pick things up, and then it has a pokey tool, which makes it easier to grab these teeny tiny dimensionals. And I'll just add a few here and there. You can use the edges too. You can see I've cut away here. And maybe one in the middle too. All right, and then we're almost done with this card. I could keep adding. I could add our little glimmer dots or our matte dots. Um, but I'm just going to do less is more and just make this a nice little birthday card. This one, oh, you know what? This would probably work better for a horizontal card. I meant it to be vertical, but I think I'm going to switch it to horizontal. That's the beauty of card making. Sometimes you create as you go. Now, you can still see it definitely says happy birthday. You could do white on white here. You could, if you wanted more of a pop, choose a darker color like black or something. And there you have it. So there's our card today. I hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget my In Color Club. I will put the link for signing up for that. And thank you so much for joining me today. Um, if you see any products you like and would like to order, please use my host code right up here. And if you use the host code and if your order is over $50 before tax and shipping, I would be happy to send you a little gift as my way of saying thank you along with a thank you card. So I hope you take advantage of that. And I will see you next Tuesday morning at 9 o'clock Arizona time for another share. All right, you take care. Bye-bye, guys.